In Toy Story it must be pure agony to exist as an unassembled Lego set. Meh, Mrs. Potato Head doesn't appear to be in pain when she is missing an eye in the third movie. I feel like Legos would be a hive mind creature. All acting individually but coming together to form one being. Or maybe the perfect way to be a troll. Just leave yourself lying around hallways and high traffic areas. I'd think that's more like a sporky thing was that his name? When you assemble the set, it creates a new, live toy, what happens when you disassemble is my question. Toy Story 3 with the Tortilla and Toy Story 4 with Sporky really open up a lot of uncomfortable questions about how exactly the living toy thing works. Imagine being in a toy collector's collection. And I'm not talking about Ul here either. You're just put on a shelf in a certain position and remain there for months at a time. Or just stuck in a box after finally being bought. No wonder the prospector went nuts. There is a Toy Story tale of horror or whatever it's called on Disney that has a Lego set disassemble and reassemble at will. I think the key issue is whether or not it's been taken out of the package, so all its parts can be together and use that assembly skill. The bigger question is does the entire Lego set come to life or just the minifigures? Do we get an animated fire truck or animated little fireman driving a functional fire truck? The Lego philosophical conundrum purpose or potential. Am I made to be one thing? Am I predestined to exist only in one way not determined by me? Or am I free to be whatever the imagination allows me to become? Perhaps it is not perfect, but it is free choice. What I am meant to be, or what I am free to become. Legos are just rats, and when you assemble them, they become toy version of a rat king. Nah, Legos are actually a hive mind. Individually they have little to no sentience, but when formed into colonies they take on the aspects of their appearance. Nah, imagine the plastic models. The vehicles and airplanes, the Star Trek starships and Gumpler. I mean, that zebra from TS4 in the antique shop had half his body ripped off by the cat and they seemed fine. Same for when Woody ripped his arm in TS2 foot. I think it is the opposite. When you assemble them they are stuck, but when apart they can become anything. Be like unassembled Lego. I'd assume it feels the same as being an unassembled human long before you were born. All your molecules were here already, just not in your shape. Maybe each Lego brick is sentient and they exist as a hive mind when assembled. Maybe Lego structures would try to assimilate other smaller structures? Actually this sounds pretty cool. I imagine the Lego pieces are some kind of collective, like the barrel of monkeys. The looping racetrack was an inanimate fucking object in TS1 so I guess construct parts are not alive. Plus fork from TS4 only became alive after he was built. I'm sorry I called the racetrack an inanimate fucking object. I bet Legos are a hive mind that can assemble their self at will. Disassembled is the pure form, it's bliss. Assembled into a rigid structure is a prison. They are all individual toys and they can assemble themselves at will. You have complete and total nerve sensitivity in your feet. You can feel them. They, from time to time, will itch. You cannot scratch them. That or existing in total nirvana, like humans in LCL from Evangelion. Nan ya. The individual Legos are subsentient, and the things they build are mindful of their past lives. As a result, they tend to be attracted to Buddhism. Does each piece have sentience or does the set itself have its own identity? Nah, each individual Lego brick is a separate being unto itself. I always thought it would be like the Power Rangers. Each piece its own entity. What about the sex toys? How do you like to be the vibrator that goes in some 80-year-old's ass? I always kinda figured Lego, or really any construction set toy, would be more like a hive mind than parts of a whole. Was there not a short where there was a Lego character? They were able to disassemble and reassemble at will. 
Was it agony to be a sperm? Single Lego bricks are toy sperm in Toy Story canon. Each piece is an individual. We do enjoy being assembled though, it gives us a sense of community. There's a lot of terrifying concepts in Toy Story when you think about it for any amount of time. For example, toys feel pain. And they feel heat. And they scream in agony. That means every time you leave a toy in the sun and it gets hot, it's paralyzed but also in extreme pain. Oh, you put a dark toy in the sand on a hot beach. And it gets up to 140-160 degrees. Yeah, it's literally burning, unable to die, unable to move. Or are they like Zords? Independent until they are combined, then they become one until they are split up again. This reminds me of the book All Tomorrows, which has a type of human who are tortured to be basically living Legos. They are called colonials. Maybe they don't gain sentience until fully assembled. In the abomination called Toy Story 4, Forky doesn't come alive until the pipe cleaner and googly eyes are put on him. My pet theory is that in the Toy Story universe, Lego are a collective intelligence. Or as a wooden block with no eyes, ears, mouth or limbs to see, hear, speak or move. Just a prisoner in its own mind unable to perceive or interact with the outside world. I imagine that each individual brick is their own toy, but that their capabilities and intelligence increase as they come together. Actually that's horrifying. It'd be fun to do like a swarm self-building thing with them. Maybe all the Lego are just one Lego. I take the opposite approach. Separate is their state of being when created. Coming together must be pure ecstasy. There are inanimate toys in the movies, we see Lincoln Logs, Mrs. Nesbitt and Sister, teacup sets. It's safe to assume Legos wouldn't be sentient, but the minifigures would be. I always just assumed each piece would be its own entity. Because that's kinda how Lego works. Have you watched the movies? Do you realize how often they get dismembered and are in fact not in pain? Legos are just toys for the toys. They have no life of their own. Sad thing is no one cares about them, always walking all over them. Maybe Legos are more like hive mind beings who can act as separate pieces independently or in rowing groups and as one well-synced moving organism when placed in whatever shape in. Or each piece has a life of its own and when merged together creates another life form, just like Number Blocks cartoon. Pretty sure the toy only comes to life when the child gives it a playful animation. If the child puts a bunch of Legos together and had it run around then yes. But if it's a pre-built set, no. I'm imagining the giant Spongebob Lego set I had as a kid. What do you think the rules are, like anything with eyes? Anything with a face? Each piece is its own person. When they come together they become one foot. Smoke salvia, think hard about Lego and experience it firsthand. I'd guess each Lego is autonomous until they are assembled into something, at which point they go hive mind. I assume each individual brick is alive. Same with each part of a Lego minifigure. I'm about a grathiful at a giraffe thmeared with vatheline trying to do yoga on a pile of legoth. Then assembly could be like mini-orgasms every time one piece enters another. Why does Buzz Lightyear pretend to be a toy when Andy enters the room if he believes he's an actual space ranger? We are the Lego, resistance is futile, you will be assimilated. Mr. and Mrs. Potato Head seem alright disassembling so I think they are fine lol. They exist as a hive mind. And mixed sets are hybrid minds. It would just be one natural state of many for the Lego bricks. I imagine it's like the Legolo worms from Halo, a group of simple-minded entities joining up like a Voltron to form a more intelligent, singular mind. I imagine they must be like Voltron. Good individually, better when assembled. What if each piece is sentient instead and when assembled, they form a collective, 